Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede them. For the Lord himself, with the word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. So we pray together. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff <coughs> that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. <coughs> you spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord be with you. And I'm with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to myself, that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Jesus Christ. <coughs> so how's everybody doing? Doing better. Doing better? No, I've been better. You've but... been better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we're okay. Yes, it's gonna. It takes a long time, and uh, well, you know, whenever somebody, just an old person passes away, or somebody, you know, or a mom, a dad, or somebody, uh, it's always a hard thing. But I think, with obviously, with the way this happened, was even more tragic and even more difficult. But uh, I'm thinking that God, thank God, you know, for our faith, right? I don't know what we would do without it. I can remember one time, a long, long time ago, with a, it was a tragic death. I had the funeral and I was trying to preach, you know. And there was no way to help out at all. There was, they, they were, there were, they, I looked out there and there, 
I said, I'm just a lot of God, you have to help me here. <laughs> yeah. You know, there was because there wasn't any belief, I guess, in an afterlife among some of them, most of the people. And it was very, very hard. But I look out here today and I see a sense of of hope in your eyes and in your your in your lives. Uh, we can't explain everything. We don't know why all this happened. But I do, I, I do sense that I do feel that all of us here today have a sense of hope in the promise of God. That God is with us. You know, uh, God didn't cause this. Uh, but God is with us in this tragedy. God is with us in this difficult time. You know, the Rabbi Herschel, the Jewish, famous Jewish rabbi, he wrote a little book called Why Bad Things Happen to Good People. Maybe you've heard of that. When my mom died, I, rem I got it on tape, you know, and I put it in my car, and I kept, you know, I just couldn't deal with mom's death. And it was just so helpful. If you get a chance to either find that little book and look at them, listen to it or read it, and uh, what he says in there is, I think, just so true. He doesn't make up a big thing. You know, we're not saying, you know, this is God's will or it's better now for them. It's a bad thing. But in the bad thing, we find God. Where's the power of God, he was saying. Well, where is the power? Where is the power? I think the power of God is to be with us holding us by the hand and crying with us <laughs> and being there alongside of us. Um, to me that made a lot of sense rather than coming up with big highfalutin reasons. Yeah. Hard to, we, don't have, we don't know reasons. But we know that because of our faith that God is walking next to us, right near us, getting us through the difficulty. That's our faith. And that's our faith. And Jesus and, and St. Paul tells us in that beautiful reading from Thessalonians, we do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. St. Paul wants to make it very clear, yes, we can grieve, but not without hope. We don't despair. Console one another, he says, with these words. So this morning, we bring our little dear people uh, to their place of rest. And it'll be a, it's a beautiful area right there where St. Joseph is. <coughs> so we can come back, spend some time with them in this beautiful place. The Lord give you peace. I'd like at this time if the family would come forward to collect the, the urns. And we would like to process over to the to the So and Jennifer will lead us.
tutorial. Real pain and broken. We read in sacred scripture. Come, you who are blessed by my Father, says the Lord. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And let us pray together. Blessed is the Lord our God. Blessed, Blessed is, is the Lord, the Lord our God. God. All praise to you, Lord of all creation. Praise to you, holy and living God. We praise and bless you for your mercy. We praise and bless you for your kindness. Blessed is the Lord our God. Blessed it is Lord the Lord our God. You sanctify the homes of the living and make holy the places of the dead. You alone open the gates of righteousness and lead us to the dwellings of the saints. Blessed is the Lord our God. Blessed it is the Lord our God. We praise you, our refuge and our strength. We bless you, our God and Redeemer. Your praise is always in our hearts and on our lips. We remember the mighty deeds of the covenant. Blessed is the Lord our God. Blessed, Blessed is the Lord, the Lord our God. Almighty and ever-living God, remember the mercy with which you graced your servants, Scott, Nancy, and Jackson. Receive them, we pray, into the mansions of the saints. As we make ready our brother, brothers and sisters' resting place, look also with favor on those who mourn and comfort them in their loss. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our dear ones from this life to himself, we commit their bodies to the earth. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend them to God, that God may embrace them in peace and raise up their bodies on the last day. And let us respond Lord, have mercy to each of the prayers. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us, who we'll mourn for Nancy and Scott and Jackson, and dry the tears of those who weep. We pray, Lord, have mercy. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow, we pray. Lord, have mercy. You raise the dead to life. Give our brothers and sister eternal life, we pray. Lord, have mercy. You promise paradise to the repentant thief. Bring them to the joys of heaven, we pray. Lord, have mercy. They were washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give them communion with all your saints, we pray. Lord, 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 they were nourished with your body and blood. Grant them a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom, we pray. Lord, Lord, Lord. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Scott and Nancy and Jackson. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope, we pray. Lord, have mercy. And now with confidence in God, let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty God, through the death of your Son on the cross, you destroyed our death 
And through his rest in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored us to eternal life. God of the living and the dead, accept our prayers for those who have died in Christ and are buried with him in the hope of the resurrection. Since they were true to your name on earth, let them praise you forever in the joy of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessings. <clears throat> Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Listen now <laughs> to your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your everlasting goodness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And may their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And may the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <laughs> Our prayer today is the memories and the joy and the love you three beautiful souls brought into our lives from the time that Nancy and Jackson were born to the day we met Scotty and he said, call me Scotty. That'll help us overcome our unbelievable grief. That you're no longer with us. We'll miss you so much. But know you'll always be with us in our hearts. I 
like my dad, your grandpa said, before he died, they'll see you again. We love you forever and always, no matter what. Love mom and dad. And we'll never forget those long hugs. <laughs>